There is a reason lambs are cute, because they are a lot of work. It's funny how day one is always so exciting and I'm so happy and I'm holding every lamb and welcoming them to my farm. And by day nine, I'm like, why do you have to be like that? Really, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 annoying things. I'm pretty sure a lot of shepherds in the world will agree with some. There's gonna be some that are gonna tell me all the things I'm doing wrong. I realize 90% of this stuff is me and my management ability. Bear with me. I got, I still have probably five more days of lambing left. Okay, here we go. Top 10, you like my shirt? <laughs> it's not mine, it's my kids. He thinks it's funny, I don't know, I don't get it. My top 10 list for my most annoying things to deal with during lambing. Number one is timing. I'm either always half an hour too late getting to the barn or about two hours too early. When I go in late, there's usually like a, a storm of lambs waiting for me and I don't know who the mothers are and I don't know who the babies are. When I'm late, then the next day I always set my alarm for like an hour earlier. And of course, too early, nothing ever happens. So I'm never right, I'm never just, I'm never on time. Number two, lambs that get malpositioned. This doesn't happen all the time, but for whatever reason, this particular lambing has been horrendous. I think one of every five you has come out backwards. And when they come out backwards, their butts get stuck in their birthing canal. My hand and a bum do not fit in the same hole. It is not fun on mom. If you think it's not fun on my hand, it is definitely not fun for mom. So I was greeted with that yesterday morning as well. That's tail. I know, honey. I'm sorry that this is so cool. Oh! Stop pushing. I know you want to push. Just give me a leg. There we go. Okay. Leg is good. There we go. That is a big lammy. Work with your contraction here. That's a girl. Work with me. There you go. Wanna break? I don't know about this. Oh. You alive, buddy? Oh, you're alive! Oh. oh, that's a big lamb, Mom. Oh, sorry about your entry, buddy. Look, Mom, that's what you do. It's a lot of fun. They don't tell you about that at, well, on Google. It's kind of where I learned how to be a shepherd. Number three, I kind of alluded to this before, Miss Mothering. Miss Mothering freaking sucks. And it's usually 90% me because I wasn't there when they dropped to see who belongs to who. Miss Mothering is the most annoying thing because it only ever happens to the ones with lots, the you has lots of milk and the babies are really really thrifty and healthy and awesome and just want to drink. And it's so frustrating. I don't want to bottle feed those ones. I'm not that good of a bottle feeder. I'm not a reliable source. Uh, number four, when you have a really good mom with a really bad udder, and those are the ones I probably should have got. Those are the ones that went through my, my chase when I was deciding whether I was going to call them or breed them. And I was like, oh, it doesn't look too bad. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure I can get one more lambing group out of her. Nope. No, that brings us to number five already. I only wanted to have a top five because I knew this was gonna take too long. But yesterday morning, I realized that there's 10 and that's just 
that's just the tip of the iceberg. Number five is dumb lambs. Yes, lambs are cute. Yes, lambs are beautiful. Yes, I'm very, I love lambs. I dote over them. I love them. But oh my God, when you get a dumb one, they are so annoying. I've actually cried of frustration because they are so dumb. You get them right to the teat, you get them on their knees so they can get under. So those big, those moms with the big udders and the big teats, the lambs can't find them. Smart ones can, but dumb ones can't. And they're always the ones that have dumb lambs. Oh God, Lord, help me. I need a coffee. I actually need Bailey's in my coffee. Guys, get down, down a little further. Right there. Get it. Get it. Ugh. Get in there. Find it. Just a little further. Oh, it's so annoying. Wrong end. Turn around. Number six, favoritism. Some use just like one over the other. And often they say from the schools that you go to or whatever, they're like, mom knows best. There's something wrong with that lamb. Well, I don't see it because I like them all equally. So I don't know what our problem is, but they do. And then I'm stuck with one out of three or one out of two. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it that I can see. They might die like a month later, which I guess mom does know best. Number seven, water pails. And I know everyone's gonna comment on this and tell me to put in a really awesome, like gravity fed PVC pipe system with water and all this stuff. I can't do it in my barn because my pens are set up in a way that I have to put them up and take them down all the time. So I don't know how to put this in. So it's water, I have to use water pails. Well, water pails in, in those little claiming pens, Oh my God, I've seen everything, but like they just get, they get dirty. As soon as I put them in, I'm either, they either paw, they're pawing at the straw and put straw in the pail, or they have a, they take a big mouth of haylage and then throw their mouth in the pail. So then they won't drink the water because the water's dirty. It's just, oh, and the best. Sometimes the lambs just jump in and drown in a pail of water. Maybe sometimes even with a pail of water like that much. They're just, you can't, you can't win can't win. Number eight, I really hate feeding the back, the back pens because I have to actually take a, take a shovel full out of the manger, um, go all the way around to my little alleyway and dump it onto the ground of those back claiming pens. So that sucks too. <laughs> number, number nine, and I don't know how to fix this, but when you have those disgusting water pails, they get, they, get, they get dried on straw on the sides of it. I fill them up in my sink. Well, all that straw goes into my drain and then I have a plugged sink when I need the water and the sink the most. This morning I actually have to go and fish out my water line because it's full of milk replacer and straw. Hairballs might even be no, hairballs still suck, but old sour milk replacer and straw, it's pretty close second. And number 10, of course, and we all have it. And if you want to turn the video off before you show your kids, I would strongly recommend not because this is real life, is dead lambs. They either come out dead, they die within five minutes of being alive, no matter what you do. Um, I have not performed CPR on lambs yet. I know people that do. I'm not doing that. They just die. And it can be nutrition. It can be a stress in the gestation period that we just don't know. It can be a bug. Sheep can pick up so many bugs that can, aff that can affect their fetus. Lambing is a lot of fun at the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. But by day eight, I do have to admit to myself, I have a lot to learn. Sometimes it's just luck. You need luck and you need patience of a saint. And when I'm tired, I have none of that. None of that. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps anybody that wants to get into sheep farming and, and wants to get into it because lambing is so adorable. It is. But some days are very bad days. Yesterday was one of them. Hence this vlog. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one.